Hallo. Hello. I am Dr. Rajesh Sharma, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, James Engineering Management Technical Campus, Greater Noida. The subject that I teach for BTEC uh, ECE seven semester students is optoelectronics and optical communication. This is the main subject in seventh semester. The topic that I discuss today is dispersion, different types of dispersion and dispersion shifted fiber and dispersion flattened fiber. Uh, again, we start with dispersion and we had already talked about dispersion in previous lectures and today we again have some different types of dispersion we have to discuss that also so dispersion is the property that the velocity of light depends on the optical frequency or the mode of propagation in a wavelength means uh, in a waveguide or you may say optical waveguide or optical fiber which act as a waveguide there is a relationship between frequency of propagation and velocity this is the general uh, formula that uh, have uh, that have a relation between velocity and wavelength and obviously inverse of wavelength is frequency. So there is a straightforward relationship between velocity and a frequency. So dispersion causes the duration and shape of, uh, of an optical pulse to change in the course of propagation causing bit error in reception. Try to understand this particular point what we had seen in previous lectures dispersion is the phenomena of broadening of pulse so pulse change its shape when the pulses that uh, that was transmitted from transmitting transmitter side when this these pulses reach at the at the receiver side these pulses have a different shape because of the spread because spread of pulses broadening of pulses so pulses change pulses change its shape not only change its shapes also overlap to each other because of dispersion and that creates a problem for the receiver to detect the right bit in a particular bit duration and error come in the picture in the form of wrong detection means one read as zero zero read as one by the optical receiver and this is of course because of dispersion well what are the causes of dispersion we have different di dispersions uh, we will discuss uh, in next slides uh, broadly but before we start we have a different dispersion first of all we focus on material dispersion means frequency dependence of the refractive index material dispersion we will discuss later but the meaning of material dispersion is that the material word means, uh, you know, uh, we need two different refractive index in optical fiber. One refractive index for core, another refractive index for colliding. So we need two different refractive index. And of course, the refractive index of the core is more as compared to the refractive index of colliding. So we, you know, uh, we need different materials, ma different material, one material for core, another for colliding. Because if material change, then refractive index is also changed and we need two different refractive index we need two different material dispersion so whatever the material dispersion is we will talk about this in later but there is a frequency dependence of the refractive index means if refractive index change then frequency also depend on the refractive index and that creates some material dispersion we will discuss later then come to waveguide dispersion uh, frequency dependence of the propagation constant in a fiber that dispersion come in the picture when there is a dependence of frequency of propagation constant. 
you know propagation constant in every way when uh, you know propagate inside the optical fiber have a propagation constant and that propagation constant you know depend uh, the the frequency depend on that that particular propagation constant okay so third one is intermodal dispersion that we had already discussed in previous video lectures intermodal dispersion different fiber mode have different propagation constant at the same frequency means different modes have different propagation constant every wave has its own propagation constant you know uh, own different propagation constant means own propagation constant means own phase constant and uh, you know uh, so every mode has uh, has its own propagation constant so you have uh, different modes mean different propagation constant uh, okay so and propagation constant means it's a it's a you know complex summation of uh, a phase constant and uh, attenuation constant so every wave has its own propagation constant means own phase constant and own attenuation constant so different fiber modes have different propagation constant at the same frequency making pulses launch simultaneously in different modes arrive at the receiver at different time this is also one of the reason you know different modes different propagation constant at the same frequency means uh, the the mode that arrive at the another side of the optical fiber have a different time and different time because of uh, because of many reason one of the reason is that having uh, having uh, you know uh, having different velocity because of the frequency change because of the refractive index change sometime and uh, uh, this may be the case uh, and some sometime you know every mode has its own own distance to travel some modes have travel more distance as compared to another so uh, so this may be the reason why these all the modes you know reached at the receiver at different time so there is a time delay between the uh, between the the modes and each mode you know uh, each mode have its own energy level so different energies so there is a delay in the energy that arrive at the other end of the fiber because of this type of intermodal dispersion so in in the in in uh, so is the spreading of a pulse uh, of light as it travel down the length of an optical fiber dispersion limits the bandwidth or information carrying capacity of a fiber this is true this is true that we had seen in previous lecture that dispersion because of dispersion there is a there is a drawback that bandwidth or information carrying capacity of a fiber is decreased it limits it limit that the bit rate must be low enough to ensure that the pulse do not overlap and what what we do actually how we minimize this overlap because pulses are broadened with the distance this is a natural phenomena for the pulses as they travel along the optical fiber the only thing that engineer can do is low the bit rate and that's because the bit rate must be low enough to ensure that the pulse do not overlap so a lower bit rate means that the pulses are farther apart further apart and therefore that greater dispersion can be tolerated this is the, uh, the that in that way we can avoid the dispersion so we compromise on the bit rate there are five types of dispersion modal dispersion material dispersion waveguide dispersion chromatic dispersion and polarized mode dispersion now modal dispersion this is this is very much theoretical actually you know the students should make a note separate note on that Uh, from the books you know so it's just a short notes on different dispersion this is the this is very much theoretical uh, even some concepts are to be there that i will discuss today but there is uh, some theoretical part of uh, in that so modal dispersion modal dispersion occur only in multimode fiber this is this we had already discussed modal dispersion occur in multimode fiber so it is a result of light rays following different paths through the fiber core and consequently arrives at the fiber and at different time this part i already discuss uh, before uh, before that slide so the input light pulse is made up of group of modes as the modes propagate along the fiber light energy distributed among the modes is delayed by different amount one thing is that different mode actually travel different distances with the same velocity in multimode fiber that's why their arriving time at the other end of the fiber is different second is that uh, each mode have its own energy so there is a there is a delay there is a delay in that Thank you. 
So, so modal dispersion, uh, yeah. Second point is that uh, each mode has its own, you know, has its own uh, energy level. So, because uh, different mode have dif travel different distance because they travel different distance with the same velocity, and then there is arriving times are different means there is a delay in the energy also, right? So, this is the second point. Again, uh, the pulse spread because each mode propagates along the fiber at different speeds. Second point, since mode travel, since mode travel in different directions, some modal travel longer distance that we already discussed. Some each mode mode has its own distance to travel, so that is the point. And modal dispersion occurs because each mode travel uh, travel a different distance over the same time span. Then come to material dispersion. Material dispersion occur because of different wavelengths or frequency. You can say that also travel at different velocities because if you change the wavelength of propagation or frequency, their velocity also be changed because there is a there is a relation between these two through a fiber even in the same mode. So remember, uh, there is a formula uh, n is equals to c upon v, where c is the speed of light in vacuum, and v is the speed of the speed of the same wavelength in a material. So here the index of refraction will change according to the wavelength, right? So this is about material at this point. Again, uh, material dispersion occurs because the spreading of light pulses depend on the wavelength interaction with the refractiveness of the fiber core. So, material dispersion come in the picture when the light have light faces different refractive index because of the different materials. So that 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 create a material dispersion that we already talked about that. Different wavelength travel at different speeds in fiber material. Why different wavelength travel different speed? Would we to change the wavelength and change the frequency? Then there is change in the speed. So different wavelength travel at different speeds in the fiber material. So different wavelength of a light pulse that enter a fiber at one time exit the fiber at different time. Already discussed. So material dispersion is a function of source spectral width. Spectral width means it's a uh, it's a it's a it's a number of frequencies, right? There is a spectral width, the number of frequencies. You know what is the lowest and what is the highest. So that becomes a spectral width, and each frequency component has its own own speed uh, speed. So that it is that, that that's why we can, uh, that's why it's a function of spectral width. Now come to waveguide dispersion. Waveguide dispersion occurs because the mode propagation constant beta. This mode propagation constant beta is a function of size of the fiber score relative to the wavelength of operation, right? So this propagation constant actually beta depends upon what is the size of the core relative to the wavelength of operation and what is the frequency of operation that you operate. So waveguide dispersion is most significant in a single mode fiber. This type of uh, single, uh, this type of waveguide dispersion see mostly in single mode fiber that support only single mode or one mode. The energy level travel at slightly different velocity in the core and gliding because of the slightly different effective indices of the material. Already discussed. Different effective index means different velocities, different velocity, different you know. Then uh, and altering means change the internal structure of the fiber allow waveguide dispersion to be substantially changed, thus changing the specified overall dispersion of the fiber. So actually, in single mode fiber, you know, because the diameter of the core is, uh, is very much small, so all the light is not propagated through the optical through the core region of the optical fiber, and some part of the some part of the this light energy is to be reached to the cladding side and this should be avoided because this is this is a loss so in so about 80% of the light is propagated down the core with the remaining 20% travel down the cladding and chromatic dispersion chromatic dispersion is the term given to the phenomena by different with the, which different spectral component of a light pulse travel at different speeds 
CD chromatic dispersion arises for two reasons. The first reason is that the refractive index of silica is frequency dependent. Thus, different frequency components travel at different speed in silica. And this component of chromatic dispersion is called material dispersion. So, the, the second reason is that, that although material dispersion is the principal component of chromatic dispersion for most fibers, there is a second component called waveguide dispersion. So, waveguide dispersion and you know this uh, material dispersion uh, is a type of chromatic dispersion. Now, dispersion shifted fibers. There is a uh, category of dispersion shifted fibers. And the, and the characteristic of these different shifted fibers are, so dispersion shifted fibers, DSF in short, you can say that, is a type of optical fiber made to optimize both low dispersion and low attenuation. Means these dispersion shifted fibers are very special type of fibers that gives you a very low dispersion and low attenuation. So dispersion shifted fiber is a type of single mode optical fiber with a core clad index profile tailored to, to shift the zero dispersion wavelength from the natural 1300 nanometer in silica glass fiber to the minimum loss window at 1550 nanometer. So the groove velocity or infra intramodal dispersion which dominates in single mode fibers includes both material and waveguide dispersion. So waveguide dispersion can be made more negative by changing the index profile and thus be used to offset the fixed material dispersion, shifting or flattening the overall intramodal uh, dispersion. So this is advantageous because it allows a communication system to possess both low dispersion and low attenuation. So overall this dispersion shifted fiber offer you a very low dispersion and low attenuation. Then dispersion flattened fiber. It, this is a type of glass optical fiber. This is a glass weight fiber that provides low pulse dispersion and over a broad portion of light spectrum and as a result can operate at 1300 nanometer and 1550 nanometer wavelength window simultaneously. So this is uh, the two very special type of uh, fibers. Uh, which one? Dispersion shifted fiber and dispersion flattened fiber. fiber both give you low dispersion means low attenuation right and uh, of course low losses so you minimize losses by using these two fibers thank you very much